Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Black Bear Hunter coming at you again. And today we're going to try out a Scottish Red Ale. Um, the Scottish Red Ale in, in question is the Innocent Gun Barrel Age Blood Red Sky. Um, this one is a uh, Jamaican Rum Barrel Age, um, which is a, a very interesting um, combination. Um, but Innocent Gun, they're pretty much known for their um, for their barrel aged beers. They um, don't take it lightly. Um, they do a really good job. Um, and you know, over in Edinburgh, Edinburgh, Scotland, which I haven't been since I got out the military. Um, but they 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 really love their beer, and this one is actually a really good example of what they can do um, or what they do not what they can do or what they are doing and what they have been doing over in Scotland. So, um, yeah, I mean, what, what, what can we take from this? Uh, I mean, what should we know going in? Um, it's a, a really good, uh, company that creates a really good red ale. Um, they're using Jamaican rum barrels, which is a really great pick. Um, so you're going to get a mixture of spice. You're going to get the, you know, you're going to get rum aromas, uh, the rum spice. Um, you're going to get vanilla from the oak, um, brown sugars. Um, yeah, you're going to get a good mixture, maybe some dark plums. I mean, they make a really good red ale. So at the end of the day, um, I, I was curious. I was over at Costco. I was looking for, see what they had in their section. And like I said, I <clears throat> ran across this innocent gun. I was like, you know what? I love a good red ale. So at the end of the day, um, yeah, here I am about to crack this red ale and uh, add that bottle cap to my collection. <laughs> you know, I'll make a table out of that. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, it's a really nice looking bottle, you know, let you know that it's definitely European design, you know, it's embossed with the innocent gun label, um, let you know that it's from out of Edinburgh, nice crest here, um, straightforward, but best way to find out what's in the package is break out the bottle opener and we'll find out. So, let's see. Oh yeah, nice brown sugar smell to it. Um, oak, you can taste, you can smell the oak, you can smell the rum. Yeah, yeah it's just gonna be. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, that is so pretty. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Nice head. Light brown head. Um, really nice color. Really clear. Um, nice dark amber color. Um, with a little reddish hue to it. Not too well. It's actually pretty. Uh, I say it's pretty. Got like a little reddish hue. Um, not too red, not as red as I thought it would be, but still looks tasty. Um, but basically, you know, with the Innocent Gun, they use their own method when it comes down to, um, like I said, brewing this ale. Um, the barrel and the beer method where they chop up the pieces or chop up the barrels and throw it into the tank and age it for about five to ten days. Um, just enough to give it that that pr the properties of the of the oak in the um, in the distilled liquor that's actually that that the oak that the oak barrel actually held. So um, yeah, I mean, tried and true, right? So <laughs> let's take a whiff. Let's get a, see what's going on here. Still a little so. Oh, look at that. Nice lacing on that 
even though it hasn't the head hasn't come down yet you can tell how this is going to be ooh, nice and creamy so let's see here oh yeah you can smell that spice that rum a little vanilla brown sugar oh man um this is really really good pleasant smell um maybe even a little some type of fruit or apple um oh, this is really interesting and hey and it's a gun <laughs> so um let's take a taste and see exactly what we have here cheers Mm. Ooh. Mm hmm. Just as expected. Um, pretty bold. Um, uh, you get, like I said, you get that nice, sweet, bitter, um, light rum essence. I mean, it's really good. Um, eh, like, not like. Like it's it's just a really easy drink. I'm not gonna say really good. It's just a really easy drink. Like I said, good. Um, you get a little bit of caramel. You taste some type of fruit. I can't tell if that's like plums, um, or raisin. It's not real heavy, but it's there. You can you can definitely you can definitely taste it. Um, like a light light coffee or maybe that yeah like a, like a light coffee like i said that brown sugar maybe a little fig but that bitter you might be some clove there it's like something earthy but it might be clove um yeah, i mean you know mixed with the mouthfeel and the creaminess of the beer like it has really good body um a little dry on the back end like you know, horse like it's it's that type of dry where you drink the beer, you get that nice wet taste of a good beer, but then once you it goes down and you pull the glass away, it instantly like you get that dry finish. Where it's like, man, I need to take another drink. <laughs> so yeah, I could see myself going through this uh, really quick, faster than most other beers. Um, it's definitely, it's definitely interesting. Um, and I mean, you know, like I said, Costco, I think I paid like three ninety nine for it. Um, either three ninety nine or four dollars and fifty cents or something like that. But it, it was straight. It was a, it might have been three ninety nine. But it, it, it's really good. I mean, for three dollars, how could I go wrong? Again, if I don't like it, I'm going to cook with it. And so in this case, um, if I had to make it or break it, I make it. <laughs> it's a, and like I said, it's a really good beer. Um, I probably could make an awesome stew out of it, but it's a really good beer. Um, uh, uh, I mean, what else can I say? Try it out. Tell me what you think. Hit me up. Um, we can shoot messages back and forth and talk about it. I love talking about beer. Uh, so, and that's why I'm here to share beer with YouTube. So party on YouTube. Cheers.